So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand spanking new ActraCore Accurig that Relution released a couple of days ago. So what is the ActraCore Accurig? Well, if you're familiar with Mixamo Auto Rigging Tool, it's pretty much the same thing, but I think it's a lot better. And best of it all, this new ActraCore Accurig Auto Rigger is free to download. So with that being said, if you want to follow along, go ahead and go to the ActraCoreRelusion.com Auto Rig and download the software, install it, and then just open it up. So with that being said, I already have mine installed here, and this is what it looks like. And what I'll do next is download some free characters on Sketchfab so you can kind of follow along if you want to. So I'll just type in... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work with this because it's already kind of like an APOS. Uh, let's look at the model information. Is it PBR or metalness? And let's take a look at the files. It looks like 2K, so this is good. Got some materials and then Autodesk. So that's what we're going to take a look at. And if you want, again, if you want to download this, it's free from JMore. So I'll go ahead and download this and I'll just do original FBX format. All right, so here is our file now. We have source and we have textures. And what I like to usually do is take the characters that I download before I rig it. Uh, I usually take it to Blender just to take a look and see what it looks like if we have to combine the mesh or anything like that. So I'll delete these two useless things and then go to File, Import, FBX, and we'll just go to that Downloads, find that character, Source, and then pop it up. And I'll rotate here, Shift. And it looks like it's already one piece, which is good, so I'll delete the light. Uh, if it's not, if yours is not, go ahead and press A and then Control J. That's going to combine everything to one. But this looks like it's going to work just right. So with that being said, what I'll try to do is actually import that model straight in Accurig and see if it takes it. So I'll go to that Accurig now. And we're going to go to this top left. It says Load Character, FBX or OBJ. Let's choose the file here. And I'll go to the source again. And I'll download that. Okay, it looks like there's actually textures in there too. It's kind of cool. So what we'll do now is just want to make sure that this line right here, this vertical line, is in the middle of the character. If you want to rotate the character, you can click this right here. Uh, this looks pretty good. But again, if you want to be really picky with it, you can take your time. But I think this should work right here. All right, once that line is in the middle, just go to the bottom right corner and click on Rig Body. I love how simple this process is it's amazing like if you just follow the actual instructions on the screen you're gonna be good to go so what that's gonna do is actually place some markers on your character which to be honest it did a pretty darn good job if you want to know where the markers are supposed to be you can go ahead and hover that icon and it's going to show you where that's supposed to be located at right here so that's pretty good i, I would say i would just kind of move it a little bit and this middle one right now, again, this is pretty decent, but I will just move it up just a little bit. Got the kneecaps pretty well. And if your character is actually symmetrical, you can click on symmetry right here. And what that's going to do, it's going to let you adjust one, but it's going to adjust both the actual markers on there. So I'm going to rotate around here. And honestly, if you want to go look at the bottom left, you're going to see some uh, commands and some controls for you. So alt right click is going to be rotation. But what we want to make sure is just we have those markers correctly, like shown right here in the top right corner. So let's take a look at this foot. I'll move it right here because it says kind of has to be right there, maybe a little bit more so. And then take a look at the elbow. I think the elbow is on point. Like I said, everything actually looks pretty darn good. Even the neck. Now this neck is probably going to be a little bit funky because you really can't see the neck. So this is probably not going to be good, but I'll go ahead and move this mouth right here, marker right there, and then just go like that. Okay, and then once that's done, I'll go ahead and click that button at the bottom right corner to rig the right hand. So that, what that did is actually create some more markers, and I'm just rotating around here just to make sure that everything's good. I think what I'm going to do is move this kind of closer to the tip of the fingernail right there, as shown right here in the top right corner. Again, we just want to make sure that we're following that instruction. The knuckles look good. And this one right here, actually, that's a pretty good spot for that. And this kind of needs to go up a little bit more. And then this will kind of go in the middle. And again, the tip right here. And I'll just rotate around to make sure. And then our thumb, 
this little triangle looking pyramid thing, I just gotta make sure it's pointing outwards. And go around, and again, you can spend as much time as you want in this, but I'm just trying to showcase this kind of tool for you so you can get started. I'll click on rig left hand now, and it's gonna go to the other side. And again, I'll just adjust this, it's just, went, it's just off a little bit. And this should be pointing out, which I think, yeah, that, that one's pretty good. Again, I'll just move the tips here. And move it here. Knuckle area. Gives you, you know, guide here. Okay. I'll go ahead and finalize the character. So this is going to go auto rig this mesh for us. All right. So as you can see, this character is now rigged. And again, rigging is no joke. It is absolutely boring. And I have so much respect for character riggers out there because not me, man. So if you want to test out the motion, you can use some preview motion up here in the top right corner. You know, you can do this post again. Uh, we have some acting in here. If you want to kind of check that out, see how that's doing. Man, look at the fingers. It's actually capturing the finger animation and such, which is pretty darn good. So if you are getting some penetration, you can actually adjust that body part if you want to. But for me, I can actually just clean that up in iClone. It's an easy fix. I'm going to leave it as is like that. And let's take a look at the walk animation. Man, that is a solid, solid rig. That looks so good considering it took us like five maybe three to five minutes to do. And what's cool about this is you're gonna actually upload this to the actor core, which is the motion library that Relusion has. And you can actually use the actor core animations on this character. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually export this character now into Unreal Engine 5. All right, so I have it opened. So what we're gonna import is just the character right now, since we really didn't put any animations to it, we didn't upload it to the actor core uh, Relusion motion library. So Let's go ahead and drag and drop this here. And high quality shader is okay. I'm not gonna create a skeleton because I wanted to create a skeleton. We technically don't have any animation, so I can just go ahead and uncheck that. And then I'll click on import all. All right, and I'll press X here. And actually, we can drag and drop that character into our scene. And you're gonna see, and I'll just make this one, change this to lit. As so you can see, our character that we downloaded is now in here. All right, so what I'm going to do next is actually get some animation for this character so that he's just not standing here in an A post. So we're gonna go back to Accurig and just click here and I'll close this out. And we're going to upload this to my actor core. It's gonna upload it to the website now. And so I'm already logged in and this is going to show up in my rigged actor right here, which is super freaking cool. Now, if I go to motion, I already have a couple of motions in here that I've purchased. Or if you want to, you can go to the free ones and you can go ahead and check some of these out. Now, I already have this one, so I'll just click that. And as you can see, here it took off. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. So I'll download the motion now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on the rigged avatar and click next. And I'm gonna say again, Unreal. And 60 FPS is okay. I'll embed the texture. I don't have any facial blend shape. And then I'll just download that. So this is gonna download both the mesh and the actual animation so it can move in Unreal. Again, this is super freaking cool. All right, and here's the folder now of that downloaded actor and motion. So we'll go back to Unreal now. And I will just drag and drop these. So I have the auto rig actor and we have motion, and I'll just go to the motion and drag and drop this to the folder and say, okay. And then what I will do is just select the skeleton, the character rig skeleton that we already have in the game and click on import animations. So I'm gonna go ahead and find import animation, animation length, make sure that's good. I'm gonna do 60 here so we can kind of make it a little bit faster and I'll say import all. So this is, going to select the character rig that we imported the first time. We don't have to create another mesh because it's already there. Additionally, if you wanted to go ahead and just export the motion by itself, you can go back to actor core and you actually have the option to just export motion right here, which again is pretty cool. 
So that's kind of both ways that you can go about on doing this. So let's go back to Unreal and this is gonna go ahead and import that animation and it's going to apply it to the skeleton of this character right here. Okay, so it's imported and it looks like it's just compressing animation. And there you go, it's finished. And if I double click that, you're gonna see that the character will now run and jump, which is pretty darn cool. Now I'll close this out because what I can do is actually create a new sequencer here and I'll just title this Tut. I'll drag this into the sequencer, the actor. If I go to animations, we're now gonna see this run to blast animation that we downloaded from actor core. Now I'll rotate this here and I can actually scale them maybe to like 0.5. Z is a little bit too big. And here is our character running with fingers and hands and everything and it looks great. This looks fantastic to be honest. That rig is solid and again, it's freaking free. What more do you want? Look at that. Ugh. Freeze frame. How cool is that new Accurig? But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you use the brand new Relusion Actor Core Accurig with Unreal Engine 5. Or if you want to, you can use it for NVIDIA Omniverse as well. If you all learned something new today, please do like this video and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 this year which actually starting to look like it's going to be next year, but that's all good. My goal is 100K. Please, please, please help me get there. And like always, thank y'all for watching.